guys, today is the day I am very excited to get my golf game to the next level. I've been playing quite a lot. I don't think you need an introduction, but I'm gonna give it to you. Hey folks, Cameron McCormick here at Trinity Forest Golf Club, facility, Ultra performance. That's our business. That, that's where we make great things happen. PGA Tour victories, LPGA victories, major champions, US juniors, they all come through here. And we're so glad that Brody decided to stop by. <laughs> and we're so delighted that he showed up with the set of skills he showed up with. He's got immense speed. And more importantly than the speed, he's got immense adaptability. He's like wet concrete or clay that we can mold right now. Cannot wait to get this started. Let's do it! Let's go! straight line from this map all the way through there. I don't care how the balls fall back through that target line. I just want to see balls that finish as close to that target line. That's possible. Exactly like a flag is a certain okay. distance along that. And this is just warm up right now. Cool. So my expression is, is there are end ways and means, right? Mm -hmm. We're all looking for the same end. We want to make our ball behave, move from point A to point B. But at the end of the day, it's being able to fit together uh, the pieces of a swing puzzle uh, to make sure that we're providing that ball with some really accurate instructions. And that's the job of a coach, that's the job of an instructor. Gotcha. And that's the job that I think, I'm gonna say 90 to 95% of those that would call themselves golf coaches lose sight of the most important priority in educating a player is educating them to the skill of the game versus educating them to the form of the game. They over-prioritize form and under-prioritize discussing and training a player to develop skill. So predictability is how often does the ball do the same thing. Precision is how accurately it lands yep. relative to the target that you want to hit at. Gotcha. And those two are completely different things. Yes. We can be highly predictive, predictable, but yet ended up in yes. a tree on the right-hand side every time. Mm -hmm. So we want predictability and the level of precision that's required to play at the level that you're expecting to play. Come on out. Same, uh, same target line, that bunker, away from the distance. Okay. Here. A little left. Thin and a little bit too much yeah. curve. You want a little bit more divot? Uh, I don't want anything just yet. Okay. You're trying to read my mind though, aren't you? You know. I... <laughs> ah! That's the one we've got to make go away. Yeah. That happens maybe once every two rounds. But that's a close cousin to the micro thin that you're dealing with almost oh, every oh, shot. Almost every shot. Almost oh, every shot. Interesting. Okay. So that's a super low contact point. Okay, so I need to see back four iron in here. Okay. So these will go right here. It'll still stand on the same mat. Okay. Aim for the same thing. Yeah, same thing. Thank you. Yeah, nice strike. I got a little thin. Increased spin increases drag, and the ball doesn't travel through the air as efficiently as it otherwise would when it's struck off the center of the club face. Yeah. So you're giving up potential yardage and potential control when you strike it off that portion of the Bottom club face. Line. Mm -hmm. okay. It's just like a great football coach. Mm -hmm. You've got this laminated play sheet standing right in front of you. Okay. The objective is to score a touchdown, right? Yeah. So we're going to call one or a series of plays to score the touchdown of better contact and then ultimately improved ball control. Solving okay. for the potential for block, block, fade, and solving for the potential of overdraw to okay. the left, right? But we're going to start with contact. There are two things that I want to remedy. The first is immense extension which is your upper body leaning away from the target so the target being on that side yeah. and then when you transition into your downswing your pelvis comes up and under you pulls your upper body away from the ground and that lifts the arc off the ground and if the arc of the swing is left off the ground what sort of contact would you make thin thin there you go but that thin contact is the net effect of those two um, elements of body movement that i just described gotcha. it's the feeling of I've moved off it too much in terms of my upper body moving to the right of my lower body, which is actually a rare thing to, to see, to be okay. the opposite way. So we need to be a bit more centered okay. with our upper body. Okay. That's gonna be easy for you. The Hail Mary pass that's difficult for the receiver to catch downfield mm -hmm. is gonna be the one where I ask you to go from posture and address in terms of pelvic tilt and forward lean with your yeah. torso, your yeah. ribcage, and then increase or maintain on the downswing rather than lose it on the downswing. Okay, so it's try to stay, stay down on it. Yeah, not imagine. just upper body wise, but... Lower body stays body. back, upper body stays forward. I've got a couple of drills that we can do to amplify, to give you the sensation that you're able to do that. 
and you're going to have to be very communicative with me okay. telling me whether it hurts or not. All I want you to do is I want you to imagine there are constraints around your shoulders, a barrel, if you will, borders, mm -hmm. and your ears, and you're going to have to turn within that. Can you make a backswing and freeze? Fantastic. Start again. How difficult was that to do? No. I'm... Okay. You still have to pivot okay. through the same range that you would typically pivot through. Okay? okay. So this range of motion needs to be the same. It's this range of motion. We want to constrain the lateral movement. Okay? Gotcha. Demonstrate it again. So you can do it with obstructions, meaning my hands on either side. Ah, eh, fantastic. Yeah. So if we were hitting in a direction that allowed the shadow to be cast directly over my head, and it would be as simple as having a point out there. Hey, how about that? I just slid it right into place uh -huh. where I can make practice swings, watching that a ball is always illuminated by the sunshine rather mm. than shifting off axis oh, where yeah. we've got too much forward flexion, lateral movement to the right. You got it? That helps you build the sense, the awareness. But remember, you still need to pivot your hips. Oh, okay, gotcha. Move your pelvis, move your ribcage. Am I looking at the ball kind of? You're looking at the ball, yep. You're building awareness. Fantastic. Come on in and strike this one right here. Fantastic. Well done. Eventually, what you're going to see down here, you might want to zoom in on this divot. You're going to start to see a divot that looks more like the classic $1 bill. You're going to start to make divot patterns mm. that look like all of the tour players that I have out here that can just string straight. divots together. Straight, 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 straight. Because they're Cause right, hitting. Exactly, because right now, the part of your club that's interacting with the ground is just the toe of the club. So it's a little toe scar. What we want is we want an entire sole scar. Mm. That sole scar is going to come when we add that next element. Gotcha. Which is moving gotcha. back into forward flexion and the downswing. So a couple more swings, we'll go back in and we'll dry fire test your ability to move back into full reflection. Excellent. Well done. Excellent. There's the closest thing to a dollar bill divot you've given me today. That's beautiful. I like that. In yeah. In advance of the instruction that would then provide that. Come on back. I again. like it. Is it at the ground or is it beneath the ground? I when you're traveling through impact. Uh huh. I feel like you want to hit ball, ground. Right? Is that what you're asking? Okay. So then the swing arc ceases to move into the ground as soon as contact is made? Correct. And she travels down into the ground. Okay. And so there's, there's two collisions. There's club ball and club ground. Okay. And the resistance to the ground causes the club to bounce back out of the ground. That amongst other things with the arc of the swing as well. Okay. And the reason I ask you that question is I need you to understand the concept that says where the club starts relative to ground level, we'll call it the edge of the mat right here, yep. is not where it returns where it returns is somewhere lower than that. And so I'm gonna get you to address with your toes right on the edge of the mat right here, hovering the club basically at the same level of the soles of your, soles of your feet. Uh -huh. I'm gonna get you to make little swings, moving into forward flexion, trying to reach down and touch those rocks. But this is the movement pattern that you don't incorporate. This one's called elevator, and the reason why is the club starts on ground level, but when we're swinging back through, we're swinging through the basement. You got it? Mm -hmm. And the reason we're swinging through the basement is because ass is back and chest is forward. Back swing and flex forward. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Good. Try and keep that right knee back and that right heel on the ground longer. Because mm -hmm. what it'll do is it'll give you the space to flex forward over your feet. But if I kick my hip in, sorry, if I kick my knee in and I lift my heel up, it brings my pelvis up and under me. Exactly. You take a stance, you shorten down the club to where your thumbs are just on the metal, okay. and then you lift the club proportionally off the ground. Right? So you've so shortened it's normal, okay. You've shortened the implements to where your hands are in the same place they would ordinarily be on a long club, right? And now you make a backswing. And you gotta but you flex forward and strike a divot. Am I hitting balls or I'm just uh, divot. It can actually be both. Either. Okay. It's, a, it's a drill that you can use as dry fire or live fire. Okay. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Jeez. It does. It's weird. It does have more of a pop. It's compressed. Dang. Yeah. Okay. That actually feels so cool. Brody, you're a quick study. We're working right now on a different grip. Working right now on kind of staying low with this hip posture and digging, kind of almost digging down into the ground through contact. Um, so there's a lot of elements. 
to kind of have to go through, but the more you practice it, the more you get it, and uh, the more you'll be able to do it over oh, keep running, and over keep running, again. Keep running. What? Sorry to jump in no, here. No, you're good. But the why. The, the why. why is the most important piece. Of why we're doing it? You gave a great documentation yeah, of, of what we're happening. doing. Yeah, yeah. But you didn't really give a why. So, and the, oh, and the why is what are yeah, you trying to solve oh, for? Oh, yeah. Right? We're, exactly. So, we're trying to solve for if you looked at my clubs on pretty much all my shots, the ball impact was all here. Super, super low, thin shots. And right now what we're trying to get is here. And in order to get that, we have to change what I just talked about. Right. And yeah. so, and, and the interesting thing too is, this is actually gonna make the ball jump off the face more. Mm -hmm. Where, you know, in the back of my head, maybe it's like, no, I, I think if I just hit ball and nothing else, the ball is gonna go the furthest. But using the equipment the proper way that it's actually designed, it's gonna actually make the ball go far and where you want it to go. Go cool. so, hold on. Yeah. Uh, Brody did amazing. He's a player, but moreover, he's an athlete that brings a lot of skills from other sports into the sport of golf, which is the type of player that any coach could, I mean, would want to look for. Uh, he's got some fundamental challenges that uh, relate to ball control, but moreover than that, the foundational uh, quality of contact uh, is a challenge for him, meaning he's making thin contact. So our first objective is to solve for that thin contact. Then he's starting to flush it right at the center of the club face. And then beyond that, it's causing his ball to behave. You know, form is one thing, but skills is another. So we're going to prioritize skills over form, but back into form adjustments to improve your skills. Why? So we can shoot lower scores. So I have a lot of homework, but guys, I am excited to see where this can go what I can do, and uh, I shouldn't be playing a lot of golf, right? You should, so no, no, stay no. away from No, absolutely 18. not. You definitely play. Oh, even you, play you, still. You have to be able to integrate these things on the golf course. Okay. You, you start off your sessions or practice, finding the form, then you take it to the golf course. And the sweat dripping from his brow I love it. is testament to the fact that I worked him over. I did, we did get a little, <laughs> and we've been in the shade too. So that, that should tell you that uh, we got a little bit of workout in, but uh, obviously, we have a lot to talk about as for, far as moving forward, but excited to that. Where can people can find you on social media? Well, first off, on the web, www.altusperformance.com. Social media, at Team Altus on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, Twitter, I'm actually not too sure, but we'll put it on the <laughs> notes below. Everything's going to be, yeah, everything will be in the description <laughs> below, guys. If you want to check that out, definitely check it out. Um, and yeah, I had a blast. Uh, I think now it's time, honestly, I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to go to the range after this and hit some more balls because that's how eager I am. Purpose. I Enough love it. Purpose. I love it. All right, that's all we got for you guys today. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to click the like button. Also, subscribe for more. We'll be posting a lot more golf stuff coming soon. You can watch some other golf videos over here. Uh, and until next time, we'll see you uh, in that one. Deuces.